Hi, I'm back to show you part two of how this tent was put together. You notice those poles right in the middle here? I'm going to show you two of these ones to say one and two. And they're all connected to that center piece. Let me go around so you can see it. I'm going to go over a little bit how and show you how it's done. All the way through the middle. Well, um, these outer poles, um, the, the one and two poles connects in the middle. They have numbers on them. They all connect to that middle pole right there. And you will find that on all corners. Lo locate your poles that has the number one on it. And the number two, of course, two would be the one that connects into that center pole. One would connect into two. And then one would connect right here in the middle. Same as is for on the other end. Let me get down here and I can show you. And it's pretty much set up the same. These diagonal poles here. The one that runs down this way. Let me get back so I can show you. That middle pole going up. Those two coming down on the side over there, pretty much just the same. Connects right there in that center pole. Okay. Now that I've showed you, you would think that this area right here that runs all the way to that next center piece right here would be, we use the same kind of um, connectors, but it, but it, don't, it doesn't. I'm going to get closer so you won't mess this part up. This center cap right here will be, will be on the left side. And it runs down the center. And you see right here that it connects to a number three. So don't get that wrong and want to run a number, another number two pole. Or num so don't run a number one pole out of here. Else you'll have it wrong. A number three pole runs through the center just pretty much straight down and it and it really continues the pattern that I showed you earlier from the outline and then it connects to number four pole and then number four pole connects to number three pole and then number three inserts into the middle area just like I showed you once before all right you guys that's how we do this part of it and if I have time the only thing left now is to actually stand this tent up on its four legs and add the um, the covering. But even if I don't show you first, it's best to add the, the top, the tent um, covering before you stand it up on its legs. Because if you're short like I am, it'll probably be hard to reach. And... and I'm doing it by myself, so I got to do it the simple way. So I would more like, more than likely, you cover this this tent area, lay the tent out, fold it over top of it, and cover it up before I raise it up. This is actually what the tent looks like right now. Um, without me actually having it up on its legs, the top. 